because speaking with the mask on probably well for you or for me. So I'll be your MC for the event. And I'm one of the founding leaders, sorry, the founding organizers for the group um, that's worked with this event. I've lived in Denville for about four years with my family, and following the death of George Floyd, members of this community, of the Denville community, came together with a singular purpose in mind. We wanted to call out structural racism which has led to far too many deaths of black people in this country. Which has also led to far too many barriers for people of color generally in this country. And we simply wanted our voices to be heard. And while we're not the same as other communities, So while we're not the same as other communities where brutal attacks or murders have transpired, we feel we have a common bond with those communities. Our goal is to be, more, to be a more inclusive environment for each and every member of our community. With that, one of our goals for the event is to highlight, uplift, and champion voices of black residents here in Denville. Within a larger society, these voices I'm not frowning at you, the sun just in my eyes, I promise you. Within a larger society, these voices have been drowned out for far too long. They have not been able to tell their experience, experiences navigating systemic racism, and when they have told those stories, they were told, well, that's not valid. Folks have been made to endure pain and trauma with no cure in sight. So as we honor the lives of Breonna Taylor, we're gonna say her name. George Floyd, we're gonna say his name. Ahmaud Arbery, we're gonna say his name. And more recently, Maurice Gordon, we're gonna say his name. But not only them, so many others and for them, we are mobilizing today to bring, again, marginalized voices to the forefront of this conversation. So what are we asking for you, rather of you, of each and every one of you, and of ourselves as well, to come here and listen with open ears as well as with open hearts. We want to listen to the pains. We want to listen to the pains and the plights and the struggles of those who, who will be speaking before you today. And as you leave here today, we want you to know what we're marching for while we call this to action. For inclusion, for community, for marginalized voices. And we just say this and say it plainly against systemic racism. So this is not an end by any means. This is the beginning. But those are our takeaway messages. So we leave here tonight and someone says, well, what were you doing with your Monday afternoon? You had COVID going on. Again, we want you to say those key terms. Inclusion, community, marginalized voices, and fighting, working against systemic racism. So for many of us, we acknowledge that this may have been, or rather will be our first rally, our first public display of protest. So as you participate, we want to share with you just a little bit of what you can expect. First, we ask you to participate as best you're able to, knowing that at times you may find yourself uncomfortable. You may find yourself feeling vulnerable. And I'm a counsel by background, so I'll go and say this, that's okay. More importantly, that's kind of, that really is the point. That each of us sits here with that level of, dis of discomfort, and dare I say disgust, about how people within our society are treated on an everyday basis. Amen. So I'm a father of three, and one of the first things I say to my children to get home is, take off your backpacks and take off your shoes, because I'm not dirty at my house. 
<laughs> but for us, for people of color, for black people, for so many people on the margins, this is not a plight that we can simply take on and off after a long day's work. This is something that we carry with us each and every day of our lives, and more importantly, each and every moment of our lives. So again, sit with that discomfort, sit with that level of vulnerability, um, acknowledge them, and let them maneuver inside you. Next, we'll say that your safety is paramount, both from a physical standpoint, but also from, again, my counselor, an emotional, psychological standpoint. So we ask that you wear masks, unless you're speaking, um, practicing social distancing, um, you know, pure on your hands, um, carry out sanitary hygiene uh, uh, um, practices. Um, we all are here to, to rally, yes, but again, we also want to help spread, not spread, but prevent the spread of COVID-19. So throughout the day, we'll have um, volunteers in those bright yellow, orange looking vests um, asking you to maintain your social distance. Um, that's for your and our own benefit. Lastly, we ask that you sit here with us today and listen, listen to our speakers with open ears and, open, and an open heart. So even though we are organizing peacefully, and again, we want to say this, we're organizing peacefully, we understand that there may be agitators, there may be counter-protesters. I'll say it again, that's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay. In keeping with our goal of a safe and peaceful demonstration, we ask you to not engage with counter-protesters. See, inviting someone into the space is one thing, but having a back and forth with them is not what we're about. As we learn from one national organization, it is not simply enough to think that we are not racist. We must actively practice anti-racism work. And today, here in Denville, New Jersey, is a crucial first step for our community to give, begin to begin practicing practicing, excuse me, anti-racism. With that, I would like to invite to the stage Reverend Carroll. Excuse us for one second. Things change in a minute. All right, again, things change in an instant around here, or so I'm told. So what we're gonna do now, excuse me, is begin our walk, because that's what we're all here for, yes? Yes? So what we're gonna do is, um, one of our volunteers, Malcolm, is gonna be, um, begin our walk, holding our sign. He's gonna walk sort of through this crowd, and as he walks past you, we ask that you form a line behind him and he'll be our starting point. 